Folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending January 26, 2022. Prices are insane. We'll talk about that as we get into the numbers shortly. This time of the year, and, and this year is no different than any other year, we get lots of calls from potential sellers. People thinking, should I sell? When should I sell? Looking for advice. Well, it's, it's difficult to answer that, to give one answer that covers everybody's situation because everybody's situation is different. For example, we have one client who in the next few months is going away. They're going overseas. They're going to be away. That's the perfect time for them to sell. Through conversation, we concluded that that's the perfect time because they don't want to be around for all the showings and everything's done through electronic signatures anyways these days. It's the perfect time. We will manage the whole listing. They're not even going to be around. Perfect. We have another client. When I showed up, the client spent most of the time talking to me how awesome and beautiful their backyard was with the pool, cabana, barbecue area, the outdoor kitchen. They just were just bragging and so excited about their backyard. But I couldn't see it. Nobody could see it at this time. So in their situation, we concluded that the moment a buyer could be standing or a family could be in the backyard seeing all this awesomeness in their backyard, that's probably when they're going to maximize the sale. And we had another client that said that their daughter's getting married. They don't want to do anything before that. And we had somebody who, hey, right now in the next week or so is the best time for them because there's zero competition in their neighborhood. So it all depends on the individual family. But I'll tell you, the common denominator with all of them, it's best that conversation is had up front early. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, today I'm going to sell my house. They, they've planned this out and it's, it's better to have a plan. Some homes need a lot of work to get ready to come onto the market. Some homes, it's a little bit of decluttering and others, it's virtually nothing to do. They're almost ready to go. Staging and everything, the way they live is just unbelievable as far as coming onto the market goes. It's best to have that conversation early, even if you're going to sell in the fall. Have it now so you have the plan for the home, you know the direction, you know what has to happen for your home to be market ready. If you feel this information could help anybody you know, please share the video. Let's get into the numbers. If you want to talk to me, anything at all related to real estate, it's really simple. In the description below, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that. Book a time that's convenient for you. This way, I'll know ahead of time and I'll be able to organize my schedule so we can talk about whatever's on your mind. Let's get into the numbers for York Region. I'm going to start off with detached properties. I have Vaughn on the board here. We sold 38 detached properties last week for week ending January 26. Now, 38, it's up a little bit from the previous week where we did 28. But if you look a little bit closer, 18 of the 38 sold at $2 million or more. 18, it's almost half. Well, when we look back at, I've got a year broken down by week here. There's no other week where we sold 18 in a week and we had weeks of over 60 sales, 96 sales, 83 sales. So 38 sold in a week is not a great week, but 18 at $2 million or more is a phenomenal week. The best week we've had in 12 months. Well, you can imagine what that does to average sold price shoots it way up. It was already high over 2 million and now it's a bit more over 2 million. It's sitting at 2,203,000. I'm saying that and it's hard to believe and I've double checked, triple checked the numbers. That's what it is. It's over 2 million bucks. How much higher can it go? 2.2 million actually. It's more than that. Well, 2,203,000 is 35% higher than what the average price was a year ago at this time. 
and when we compare it to the median price, well, average sold price is 35% higher, we said. The median price is also 35% higher than what it was last year at this time. No matter how you look at it, it's 35%. Of the 38 that did sell, 84% sold at list price or more. And you could just see this year when we started or ended and started the year, we're at 50% selling a list price or more. It's now up to 84%. Listings, well, we're listing less than what we listed last year at this time. Compared to the previous week, we're only up by three listings. So sales, a little bit sluggish starting off. Listings, a little bit sluggish. And the sales are a product of the listings. We need more listings than you'll see sales shoot up along with it. Months of inventory came down. We're now sitting at 0.4 months of inventory. It's extremely competitive. Prices are through the roof in Vaughn. Richmond Hill, similar situation. Sales went up a little bit from the previous week. We sold 35 detached properties in Richmond Hill. 15 of those were, so almost half, were at $2 million or more. And when we look back, 15 properties in one week selling at $2 million or more, that's an awesome week where the sales weren't necessarily that high at only 35. Well, average sold price is sitting at $2,166,000. $2,166,000. Two million one hundred and sixty-six is twenty-five percent higher than where prices were last year at this time. That's the average sold price. You get a lot of the two million dollar plus three, four, five million dollar property selling. It brings the average sold price up. So average sold price is twenty-five percent higher when we compare it to the median price, which is the Burgundy line. Well, the median price is twenty percent higher than where prices were last year at this time. Prices are up. Of the 35 that sold, 60% sold at list price or more. Listings actually came down from last week. This is where we're just, we don't have enough properties on the market. If we have more of those on the market, you're going to see sales go up just because lots of people competing for whatever's already listed right now. Months of inventory came down, sitting at 0.5 months of inventory. Looking at Markham, we sold only 26 detached properties up just by four from the previous week. 11 of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price is now, it's just under 2.3 million. 2,290,000. That average sold price of almost 2.3 is 44% higher than last year at this time. If we look at the median price to try to, you know, gauge the 44%, well, median price is 27% higher. So if you feel better about 27% higher, focus on the median price. Of the 26 that sold, 73% sold at list price or more. Only 36 were listed, which is up slightly from the previous week. And months of inventory is sitting at 0.6 for markup. Let's look at condos for York region. We sold 53 condos last week. Average sold price is now 757,000 for the average condo in York region. Now for the city of Toronto, the average condo price, I believe is 773,000. York region, we're sitting at 757,000, which is 29% higher than what it was last year at this time. The median price is 31% higher than last year at this time. Of the 53 that sold, 87% sold at list price or more. Look at the percentages, the way they're increasing. Each week it's becoming more and more competitive, more and more condos in New York region selling at list price or more. 81 were listed, not that much difference from the previous year or the previous week and months of inventory is sitting at 0.3 for condos. Detached properties, condos, semis, towns, very competitive, very much a seller's market. The months of inventories are extremely low. Vaughn, Richmond Hill, Markham, all down. York region stayed the same. It's competitive. Prices are higher than anyone has ever imagined. 
And as long as 20 people are putting offers, 10 people are putting offers on one property, prices will continue to rise with the very least stay the same. Hope you're having an awesome week. Again, if you need to reach us, please use the link in the description to my calendar. And if you feel this information can help somebody else, share the video.